Okay, folks. Part six. Let's go. You were supposed to be discreet, not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. This surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had? Now, let's uh, see exactly where we need to be going. Right. Got you. I think I know what is coming now uh, with this next part because although this is my first playthrough, when I first uh, seen the trailers and things for uh, Dying Light, the very first uh, piece uh, that they actually started to show you of uh, gameplay, I think involved this part. So, yeah. Alien? Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Okay. That I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Let's go, sharpish. Don't give a fucking shit. <laughs> Whoa! Get out of there! Are you serious right now? Oh, come on! That could be useful. <laughs> I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Yeah, come on. Let's have ya! I don't need told that twice. Oh! Right, let's, uh... Move them over a bit. Oh. Come on. Nice. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Find Susie. Okay. You poor bugger. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I oh, found Susie. Oh, no. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn, damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Fuck! Holy shit! <laughs> what? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Okay, maybe I should take care of this thing first. <laughs> wow! <laughs> get up here, get some height. Right, um...
Yeah, let's just uh, try getting these bodies before actually doing the fight in there. Uh... Right, okay. Um, let's have a look and let's see what I've got. Yes. Best weapon at the ready. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I can hear Bigfoot coming over. And I'm... Um, oh, right, do you know what? These are all crazy slow, so let's... Uh, just move over. I know there's a few more to uh, search, but... I'm not really equipped to deal with that guy at the moment, but... Yeah, take it, bitch. <laughs> this weapon is going to be completely fucked come the end of this fight. <laughs> Whoops, that's not helping the cause. Okay, nice. Right, all done. Get on that, that spike, yes. Yeah, I was afraid of this. I'm gonna keep going though. Don't care, come on. All slow coach, you can... Uh, I've got really nothing to ignite that. Yeah, I think that guy is basically for another time. <laughs> Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. God, there's a lot of them. That's okay though, let's get ready with the uh, kicks. Yes, nice. Used to love doing that all the time in the first game. <laughs> Just kicking them on items that are uh, they're going to be impaled on. You can't beat it. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, he's not far away. I'm not going to get a chance to. Whoa! <sighs> yeah, I thought I could have got away a bit quicker there. Right, you know what, bloody screw it, I'm gonna take this guy on. This big ugly motherfucker. This is almost done. That's not that much better, but... Oof. 
Right, uh, medkit. Good job, he's slow as fuck. <laughs> Come on. Right, back in. Oh, piss off. Ah, <laughs> that was my fault. Just moved too quickly towards him. Come on. Good night, Irene. Surely he's back off some good goodies. Yep. Okay. Job well done. Finally. Now, is there anybody else to loot before I uh, leave? Right, okay. Let's see where the map is uh, taking me to now. Meet with Sophie. All right. Oh. What am I hearing? Uh, from in there, I'd imagine, but that's okay. Yeah, well, that's that's very handy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to run into somebody like that, but you know. Okay, search, search. Right, okay. Stop getting sidetracked, Boris. Back to the Mara hand. Yep, it's... Can I reach that? Oh, I've... no. It's okay. Let's pipe there, that. That'll get us up. My parkour levels are a tad better now, but that's an understatement. They're a lot better than what they were. So traversing this area is uh, a whole load easier now. Okay. Clearly, oh yeah, bodyguard uh, Herman is it, I think, if I remember rightly. This guy doesn't do much talking though, so we'll see what's going on here. Hey Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why weren't you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay, I guess that means I should wait here. Creepy at all, that's Mia. Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you?
Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Yeah, I'll be on my first question every time. Big guy, why didn't you bloody send him? Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? He wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. That's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Okay. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. Fuck you, bitch. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Yeah, I don't like him. Can I kill him now? To your help! Well, he likes alcohol. He's maybe not that bad after all. <laughs> I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young, but he had no one else, so I took him in. Okay, fair enough. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? <laughs> Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. Absolutely. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Okay. Real slow. Come on. Peace by peace. Okay, I'm trying to do a far jump there and it's not quite happening, so... Also, we're at night now, so I really want to be, uh... There we go, that's what I was looking for.
Yeah, in case anyone's wondering, the far jump you've actually got to have something to launch off in order to, uh, um, in order to perform it. You can't just do it from anywhere. Right. Up we go. This will be easier because I now have unlocked things where I can climb a lot quicker than what I used to. So. Are you just gonna stand there, or will you come over? Fuck off. They are a bunch of cheeky cunts in this game, has to be said. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Join the party. <laughs> As if nobody from over there can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get over there. Oh yeah, but don't get seen by any of these fucking things out here. Ah, uh, right. One thing, yeah, yeah. Okay, I might be able to make this jump. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, extra parkour skills. <laughs> I'm low on the combat ones, it's in fact. Time for well, it looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look for her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. Right. Just before I do that, I'm just as I was so rudely interrupted. Um, I'll show you what I actually have now. As you can see, co oh, combat points. I've actually got one to use. Okay, I will take care of that. But as you can see now, folks, my parkour, I've got an awful lot. And uh, I will show a little bit later in uh, this playthrough exactly how I've got them up to this so quickly. Because there is a good way of doing it. But, uh, right. <laughs> See what we've got here. Add force to your vault kick and send enemies flying. You know what? That looks fantastic. Let's just go with that. No messing about. I love, I love the idea of it being able to uh, fire them off roof rooftops with uh, a good kick. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... Uh, she said... Uh, uh, she went that way. <laughs> exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. 
That, uh, oh. uh... Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. <coughs> yeah. Absolutely. Right, talk to Sophie. Oh, okay. Not far to go here. <laughs> Whatever happens to me, Scott will understand. But Mo... I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me, and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. 
but not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Um... My stories aren't important right now. Uh, I understand. I don't tell mine, you won't tell yours. Okay? It's not like that. It isn't? Yeah, mine's an old story. It still has more questions without answers. Is that why you became a pilgrim? To find those answers? Because you sure don't look like a criminal. At least not to me. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. <laughs> yeah, okay, join Sophie. Right. Ah, there you are. Ah. Flashlight should not be on right. Is there a quick way down here? Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Right, let's have a look here. Yeah, I'd probably do this, just make sure that I hit the, the old button just as I'm about to land. Yep, yeah. do a nice land. Have you come to lurk or help? Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Bandit camps, okay. Approach a bandit camp and use your binoculars to identify entry points, locate the camp leader and identify potential environmental opportunities. Yep. To take over a bandit camp, you need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants and then claim for the camp flag tower. To claim the camp, you know, establish a safe zone and earn additional rewards, XP, weapons, outfits, etc. Oh, I like this. This is more like it because my weapons are, yeah, they're pretty naff at the moment, but they do the job. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Should I see a doctor about this? Right, superb. About time. A bit of action. <laughs> right. Uh, I need to check out my uh, weapons. Inventory. Right, let's see what we've got. Uh, yep, this is where I want to be. Just to see what I've got. Oh, God. All my best ones are <laughs> looking not the, the best at all. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, that one's definitely been uh, picked. Let's exchange. Right, okay. So, to that, I'm sure this is the way you go about doing it. So 62, 46. Let's see what else we've got here. That's virtually done for. Yep. So we've got that and now select that one. Yep. 
What's this last one? I do you know what? Just leave that there. That's good. Nice. <laughs> right. Kidding me, please don't say they're actually coming towards me right now. Normally, I would just fuck them up, but uh, I've got I've got other things to do. Uh, I know I hate stealth, but it's uh, basically saying that's the way to go. Plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Right, where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Hide in bushes, so yep, contestant number two. Oh, that's so nice of you moving on. Well, oh, there's nobody else over here. around here as well. Right, okay. Let's just keep moving. Okay, so the throwing knives apparently are L2. <laughs> Your dream is about to come true, mate. Okay, here I should be hidden. Okay. I'm not gonna waste my knives on you. seen us. Here. 
<laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's it, we're going hot. Come on. Let's up ya. Wait a minute, am I hitting the right people here? <laughs> You're dead now, fucker. Come on, we'll fucking see. Whoa, I didn't mean to follow him all the way down there, but hey, I do like it. <laughs> Whoa, you get it for that, yeah, son of a bitch. Come on, Morius! Bring it! Oh! <laughs> awesome! Up. So I had a Molotov, I thought it was actually going to be uh, knives that I was going to be throwing at that point, so I'm going to have to check that out, I'm clearly not uh, up to date with uh, everything that I'm uh, doing. <laughs> oh, come on. Anything else in here worth looting? How did I miss that bag? Right, okay. around. Ah, there's a few of them. Right. Man, I piss off to get this post? <laughs> it's over there, he's actually looking my way, so... <sighs> right, come on. Hoping to take one or two of these on their own. Yeah, I'm probably going to startle them all, but let's uh, take this bastard out first. Come on. Yeah, come on. Because I am assuming that what he has is unblockable. Yeah, give myself some room. Nice. Come on. Yeah, I really need to get some health uh, soon, but... Uh... Right.
yeah, because I'm holding on to it at the moment now to throw it. Right, okay. Oh, okay. That's a good war, man. <laughs> loot, loot, loot. <laughs> Bloody break down Boris, for God's sake. Kit. I do like how the game gives you a good reasonable supply of weapons, so as much as uh, they're not always the best, it's uh, you've still got something. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? That will do. Let's just uh, let's just liberate this place. part of me that thinks, no, bloody screw it, let's just do it. Superb. Okay. Somebody to trade with. Of course, I'll buy all my stuff. So, sell all valuables, 2,620. I'll wait for them. Yep, yeah, let's do that. That really is a good feature I, I like about this. You don't have to mess about with selecting every single bloody item. I'm just going to leave out that for the time You're being with that. <laughs> no problem, mate. No problem. Right. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie, fast. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie, are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army, stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. 
Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go now. No time to waste. Okay. Sophie has interesting people working for her. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Finally, someone showed those fuckers their place. Right. Let's have a look and see where I'm going next. Tango Motel. Okay. Yeah, I think I have an ability where I can actually run through them, but I can't remember what buttons it is, and I need to press for that, so... Okay, and just as I've said that, I've done something really stupid. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Let's have a look at my skills, just to see about that one I was talking about. Yeah, because as you can see, I've got rather a lot of parkour skills. Uh, right, okay. Or did I activate the one that... Uh... There we go, yeah. Press L1 while moving forward. Seems easy enough. Right, okay. <laughs> That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. All right, okay. Go meet Sophie. I'm going to go, this I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Search the motel. I can do this. <laughs> oh, yes. Too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. Well, when there's a chance to loot, loot. <laughs> Inhibitor 
Yep, upstairs is where I'm going. Yeah, that's all the bits and bobs outside. And what is this? Let's get the flashlight on, just in case uh, there's any unexpected surprises. I thought I saw somewhere that could uh, loot some. Right, door. Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in! Okay. I'll probably have to go outside and to get up any higher, I would imagine. Yeah, uh, okay. Hmm, okay. I might have to do a little... Alright. That's where it's saying it wants me to go now, so... Uh not sure if I'll no, that's uh unless oh wait a minute. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Right, that's more like it. Yeah, I know. I am. Oh, yeah, right. Bunny against here first. Just in case it was maybe on the balcony or something. Our container was over this way, yeah. So let's uh, get that first. Fantastic. Yeah, the upgrade is definitely definitely this time going to be used on combat because I'm really trailing um, in terms of between that and uh, the parkour skills. Right now folks, I'm just about at the hour mark for recording this video so I'm going to call it a day at that for this one. So as always folks, thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.